Hey there, today we're taking a look at F122 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U, but we're going to be taking a look at it running on the different memory configurations that I can set on here. So we're going to be doing 8 gigabytes of RAM, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. The 8 gigabytes will be two 4 gigabyte sticks, the 12 gigabytes will be one 4 gigabyte stick and one 8 gigabyte stick, and the 16 gigabytes will be two 8 gigabyte sticks. Now all of these memory configurations will be with 3200 megahertz RAM. RAM. Now the TDP of the chip will also be set to 30 watts to eliminate any potential bottleneck that is created by the TDP. This will show us any potential limitations that come from the RAM here. Now we are running the game with the lowest in-game graphics settings including the textures and we are using FSR as well. We're going to be doing FSR with the performance preset and we're also going to be doing FSR with the ultra performance preset. But let's jump right on into the comparison. And as you can see immediately Immediately, there are some pretty noticeable differences in terms of the different memory configurations. There is no real noticeable difference in terms of performance between the 8 gigabytes of RAM and 12 gigabytes of RAM. We pretty much end up running into the exact same FPS average with only a small difference in terms of 1% lows. So in general, you are going to get pretty much the exact same experience and this is at the full 1080p resolution, but we are using FSR with the performance preset on top of that. So already we're sacrificing a lot of visually, but we're still having some pretty rough numbers for those 1% lows. It's not until we get to the 16 gigabytes of RAM that we finally break past a 40 FPS average, ending up at 46. But our 1% lows, while seeing an improvement, still aren't at a range that I would consider it to be acceptable. It's certainly far more doable than the other configurations, but it's just not ideal. In general, though, it does show that 16 gigabytes of RAM does have a noticeable improvement on here. So if you're on a system that has limited capacity in terms of RAM and you are able to upgrade, it really seems like you're going to have to do that at this point. Now, if we drop FSR down to the ultra performance preset, which I would not recommend doing because it's really just such a huge sacrifice in terms of visual quality, then it's just not worth it. But for the sake of comparison, you can see here that now we do see a noticeable difference between the eight gigabytes of RAM and the 12 gigabytes of RAM. While we're still hitting the exact same average, there is a noticeable uplift in the 1% lows for the 12 gigabytes of RAM configuration. And this is interesting to see. Now, this is a configuration that, again, I do not recommend that you run. The ultra performance preset really just destroys the visual quality so dramatically that it is just not worth it. But it is interesting to see that it does make the experience at 12 gigabytes far more playable. Now, at 16 gigabytes of RAM, we do also see a bump in the averages. We're not hitting a, a 60 FPS average, though we are very close to it. But the 1% lows don't really see much of an uplift at all all from the 12 gigabytes of RAM configuration. So what this means is that that increase in FPS average really isn't really that noticeable. It is pretty rough. In general, you have to do a lot to get this title to be anywhere near playable on here. And really, it's just too much of a sacrifice, visually speaking, for me to think that it's worthwhile. But it does seem to show that 16 gigabytes of RAM could be the difference between making a game playable or just having an absolutely horrible experience. Now, I will also say that the game did give me a warning when I tried to launch it with only 8 gigabytes of RAM. A very common occurrence with a lot of modern titles now. But anyways, I'll catch you in the next one.